If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10 poor cent or why do I always say poor cent? It's per cent. Per cent, not poor, you stupid idiot jackass. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing another two-in-one del... De 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 <laughs> I almost said deluxe for some stupid ass reason. Today we have a two in one WWE Elite Series 75 review on the final two figures in the set, Mandy Rose and Kalisto. Super excited to review these guys because it is the last two in the set. We already reviewed Hurricane and Pete Dunne and Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins. If you guys missed those reviews, definitely go check those out. These are the last two in the set, so that means in this video we are going to rank Elite Series 75. Seems like other people are doing that now as a days. But nonetheless, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the review. A huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review view possible and sending this figure out or these figures out our way here if you want to pick up any figures over there guys use promo code MDTOYS so you can save yourself some money but spinning it around you got a great image of Mandy and Kalisto right here we have some backup bio read right there if you want to read it you can pause it right now rest of the figures in the wave really strong set I think it's one of the strongest sets ever in my personal opinion on the right you have another image of Mandy and Kalisto here both looking great in the ring and then uh, that pretty much does it for our packaging guys so now now that we have done that, let's go ahead and cr crack, not crock, let's go ahead and crack Mandy Rose and Kalisto out of their packaging. So here's Kalisto and Mandy Rose out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty swell, I might add. I'm very excited to rank all of these figures at the end. I think it's actually going to be a pretty tough ranking. Like, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to rank these figures because I think Elite Series 75 is excellent. Like, just freaking straight off the bat, man. Really, really good set of figures here. And I think that trend continues here with the Kalisto and the Mandy Rose. But we are going to dive into them deeper, take a look at the accessories, compare them to some other figures and stuff like that. So, uh, without a doubt, guys, let's go ahead and move on. I guess we can start off with Mandy Rose's accessories and then Mandy Rose and then we will move it along and get into Kalisto's accessories and then Kalisto and then ultimately when all of that is completed we will rank Elite Series 75 from worst to best. So for Mandy Rose's accessories, guys, she does not come with that much. She does come with interchangeable hands. Out of the packaging, she does have mic holding hands. And then she has these hands, which I really don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. I know that D Freedom 30 posted about it on Instagram, but it's like a, like, what is, what is this? It's like this or something. I, I really, I, I don't know. It's like, a, it's like she's playing guitar or something. If you put a guitar in her hand, it would literally look like she's playing certain chords on guitar. And then this hand's like opening like she's grabbing a doorknob is kind of what this looks like. So I, I don't know. Fingernails are not painted, which I'm sure they were on that night. Who knows? But I don't know. I'm probably just going to keep the mic holding hands on there. And then she does have her rubber vest, which is nice. You got the black and gold color going on. Very nice little woven details in here. Uh, you got some nice woven details going on on the back with the black and gold. And that's pretty much it. You know, it's pretty easy to take off. It's not hard or anything. It's pretty soft that you can just, you know, stretch it out and put it on there, especially with a women's figure. I don't think it would fit a men's figure. I think it'd be pretty difficult to do that. But that pretty much does it for me. Mandy Rose's accessories, guys. So now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Mandy Rose herself. All right, guys, so getting into Mandy Rose herself here, we're going to take a look at the head sculpt first. And I think it's a pretty solid head sculpt. I feel like her head may be a little bit too skinny. Um, I don't know. I feel like, uh, I don't know. I feel like the eyes are maybe a little bit off or something. But, uh, and the head's just a little bit tall and skinny. Like, I, I don't really know where to put my finger on it. Or maybe, like, the makeup needs to be redone or something. But overall, I do like the look of it. I've, I've I feel like uh, like her shoulders or her arms need to be bigger. You know, Mandy Rose has has some muscle, bro. She she you know she hits the gym. Her arms, she's she's pretty built up. She's not a skinny woman at all. I like the way these arms are articulating. Like my God, that feels really good. I think that uh, they've done a fantastic job this year of of making the women's figures a lot better and high quality. So it feels really good for this figure. The figure feels good in the hand. Like the ab crunch looks good. You got all this stuff going on. I like the muscle tone here. Except for the arms, man. Those arms are way too skinny for Mandy. Rose. The legs look a little bit better. Um, I like the knee pads. You got gold and white boots. You got Rose over there. Rose over there. Looking pretty good overall. Again, I'm just, uh, I don't know what it is. It's like the head sculpt just, like certain angles it looks like her, but it's like the head isn't wide enough and then the uh, the arms are too skinny for me, but not a terrible attempt at a Mandy Rose. I'm sure she'll get a, bit, a better figure. This figure is much better than her figure uh, that we got with her first basic, so that is definitely something we can add. But now that we've covered Mandy Rose, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at her figure comparison. Thank you. 
So for your Mandy Rose Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have her first time in the line figure right here, which has a massive head. Like, Jesus Christ, this head is so big. And they did a much better job on this figure. I like the skin tone better here. I like the articulation better here. I like the attire better here. Uh, just everything is better with her Elite. I mean, like, she's super, super just skinny and just, I, I, I don't know, just not, it does not look like Mandy Rose, honestly, to me. So this Elite is a huge upgrade. And then you have her Fire and Desire Tag Team Party partner and partner in crime in Sonya Deville here, which uh, they look super badass up next to each other, so I really like that. So, Mandy Rose, not much to compare, but it is great to see that there is an upgrade between her two figures and she looks great it's up next to her girl, Sonya Deville. So, for Kalisto's accessories, guys, he does come with a bit more than Mandy Rose. I say a bit more. It's a little bit more. You know, it's solid. You do get interchangeable hands out of the packaging. He does come with Mike holding hands. He also comes with his Lucha, Lucha, Lucha for the Lucha house party. You know, when he comes out and he's like, Lucha, Lucha, you suck, you suck. And then he also has these hands, which I don't know. It's like raise the roof hands or thrown sitting hands or praying hands or, you know, I, I, I don't know what you'd call this. I mean, I guess they could be crawling hands. I, I don't know. But you got those. And then you have this accessory, which I think is excellent, dude. I love that Mattel actually made this accessory. If you guys don't know what this is, I think this is called, like it's like a noisemaker or, uh, or like a little party deal where uh, I'll just plug a clip right here of Pennywise the Clown using it. Ah! And so basically you spin it around. Well hi, well hi, well hi. And you see you just spin it around like that and it's actually weighted and I cannot believe this is actually operational. I did not expect that but you do have the colorway there that is perfect. Black handle and you get the rubber Lucha House Party t-shirt which we also saw with Lince Dorado. Did we see? Yeah, I think it was Lince Dorado that also came with this. So we have the Lucha House Party t-shirt. You get the interchangeable hands and you get this beautiful noisemaker slash whatever the hell this is called but it's actually operational which I think is excellent. Beep, beep, Richie. Beep, beep, Richie. But that pretty much does it for Kalisto's accessories, guys. So let's move on to Kalisto himself. So getting into Kalisto himself, guys, you will see here, zooming in on the figure and the mask, I really like the colors we got going on. I like that he's uh, vomit. I like that he's yelling right here. Again, I really love the gold, the blue, the red, and the white. It really ties in nicely. Again, the way he's yelling, it looks like Kalisto. If you guys have ever seen Kalisto under the mask, that's what he looks like. You know, it looks like he's yelling lucha or whatever. So that's very nice. Love the torso choice. I love the scaling of this Kalisto. You got the nice forearm shivers going on. I feel like his hands are way too big. What do you guys think? I think the hands are definitely too big. He needs to have Rey Mysterio sized hands. So that is something that we will definitely take note of and try to fix on action figure surgery. You'll probably lose the orange tape there, but there's got to be a way to fix those hands. I like the little waist wrap he's got going on. Solid gold trunks with the mask on the back looking good. Got his back tattoos going on as well. Just really, really nice. I love the legs you got going on here. This is definitely a good formula for a uh, Leo Rush. If you guys want to make a Leo Rush, right? Right here. This is what you would use. So there you go. Somebody get started on a Leo Rush. You would have to acetone those tattoos off back there or sand them off. But overall, he is on ball joints and this figure feels great in the hand. I love the kick pad color. I like the logos going on. You got the lower legs in blue. Just a really great figure, man. All of Kalisto's figures are so underrated and they're beautiful. So if you guys definitely have a chance to get this, I would highly recommend it. Looks great. Feels great. And now that we've covered Kalisto, guys, let's get into some Kalisto figure comparisons. So for your Kalisto comparisons, guys, I did want to take a closer look at the full Lucha House Party all together. I think they look excellent with all their colors and the way they look. I think that looks great. You have the Elite 73 Grim Metalik, the Elite 74 Lince Dorado, and then the Elite 75 Kalisto. All together, they look excellent. I love all three of them. Not big fans of them on TV, but I think individually in the ring, they are great. I don't like them as a tag team, but I love Kalisto. I think he can put on a great match with anyone. Super underrated talent, but not only do we have that, but I do have his first figure, the Elite 42 Kalisto. Kalisto here, and you can just see the improvements, man. They did a great job. They made him shorter. They made him more just proportioned. I think he looks much better here than over here, and you can just see the leaps and bounds that Mattel has done with this figure. He is, he does have Rey Mysterio legs right here because I used his legs for a Leo Rush, so that is unfortunate, but overall, this is great, and I think this is a great base for a Leo Rush. Again, I think that Mattel is going to be working on that for us, hopefully, since we have the base here. It should be relatively easy now to do the deco, do the head sculpt, and everything like that but that does it for your Kalisto elite figure comparisons 
All right, guys, it is time for me to rank Elite Series 75 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Just because I put something at the bottom does not mean it's a good figure. Again, Elite Series 75 is a really, really strong set in my opinion. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Coming in at the bottom ranking, you guys probably already know this, but it is Mandy Rose. Now, Mandy Rose, the only reason it is at the bottom for me is because of uh, the head being a little too skinny and the arms being too skinny and the just women don't have ankle pivot. You know, Becky Lynch and Kyrie Sane were very high on their list, but those figures were undeniably the person like you can see just look at the arms back there compared to these arms just too skinny man just way too skinny for Mandy Rose and uh that just knocked it down man so Mandy Rose is number six coming in at number five guys really really tough choice to be honest with you it was a really hard choice god it, it, it's so close it's like ridiculously close but I went with Kalisto you know I went with Kalisto and uh I, I honestly I think it's just I, you know what Brad I can't I can't freaking do it I, I cannot put Kalisto that low it's just not right Right. I think I'm going with Jeff Hardy, and I think that's ridiculous, too. It's just so difficult, man. Uh, honestly, any of these spots could go to Kalisto, Jeff Hardy, or Pete Dunne because I think that all three of these figures are pretty good, but uh, the articulation of Pete Dunne and the articulation of Kalisto is so good. I just feel like this head scan's a little bit off. Like, it looks like Pete Dunne, but I just don't like how he's just sitting there. I wish he was a little more pissed off. This face just doesn't look like Jeff Hardy to me, but I love Jeff Hardy. I love the, the necklace, the white tank top. I love that it's a 2002 era Jeff Hardy, so a big toss-up here, but just, uh, uh, you know what? I'm going Kalisto at number five. I'm going Jeff Hardy at number four. I'm going Pete Dunne at number three. Coming in at number two, I'm going Hurricane, and coming in at number one, I'm going Seth Rollins. It was very, very hard, guys, but at the end of the day, the kick pad thing for both of these, but I think that Rollins is pretty much perfect. I love the head sculpt. I love everything. The vest does take it down a notch. But the uh, the kick pad shortness right here knocks down the hurricane. I don't know. I love the cloth thing, though. Oh, my God. I'm so torn here. You know what? Hurricane's the best figure in the set. Seth Rollins is number two. Hurricane is the best figure in Elite Series 75. You know what? That, that sh This shit rules. I love this figure. It's number one. Sorry for the long delay there and trying to figure it out. I did my best, but I want to shoot it on the fly because I want this to be a genuine ranking. And that is it. Hurricane one, Seth Rollins two, Pete Dunne three, Jeff Hardy four, Kalisto five, Mandy Rose six. Get it out of my face. But I think that is pretty much gonna do it for this two in one Elite Series 75 review on the brand new Kalisto and Mandy Rose. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the ranking of Elite Series 75 as well as the review of both. I would recommend the Mandy Rose just because it's way better than her basic figure that we got. Way more articulation. It's just a lot better figure overall. And the Kalisto, man. The Kalisto, if you guys picked up Grand Metalik and Lince Dorado, you definitely want to grab this Kalisto to complete your Lucha House Party. As well as, you know, it's just the best Kalisto so far. And it's a really good figure. And you could use it as a base of Leo Rush. So there, there's your little bonuses there. And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. Really good, great shit over there. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.